Hi guys, it's Joanne. Notice anything different? Yeah, I got glasses. These are not readers, these are full-time glasses and they're progressive. First time ever in my life I've had to wear glasses all the time. So this is a huge adjustment. In fact, it's kind of hard for me to see <laughs> the camera right now. I'm still adapting to like reading something through the bottom of the lens and then normal vision through, oh wait, like TV, watching TV through the middle or the computer and then finding that sweet spot for normal vision. So I don't know, I kind of feel like that's much better. <laughs> so um, yeah, still trying to adapt to these. I'm not sure if I'll wear them for recording video um, because I kind of have everything right here on my table in front of me so it just makes it easier to uh, I don't know just give me some time I don't know but I do like them can you see the pattern on them let's see I don't know they're brown and they're kind of patterned on the side and I can't get it to focus but I like them they're they're stylish you know what can I say I, I, I couldn't see when I picked them out because they had dilated my eyes so I was <laughs> kind of going like this looking at frames anyway that's what you get for getting older I know you guys have seen me in recent videos when I have to read something I'm like oh gotta grab my readers so yeah there's been a lot happening and I've been really busy and I'm kind of I think I'm going to adapt the way I do YouTube just a little bit I don't think it'll affect you as viewers but um, it seems to me that it's easier for me to uh, sit down and film all in one day. So I may be wearing the same outfit for three or four videos, but um, you'll know why if you're watching. Anyway, um, that's kind of a modification. And then I'm finding it more challenging to sit down and reply to all of the comments. I read every single one of them. You guys know how much that means to me. And I especially thank those of you who tend to make a comment on every single video I do. Um, I feel like we're building a relationship that way and it's not just a remark about the video but I'm getting to know you, you're saying, oh, I have that same thing in common and, and it just it makes me feel great. So keep your comments coming. Um, also if you're a new subscriber, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the content and if you have any suggestions, I'm always open for that. And um, I don't know, I guess when I started this um, channel, I just figured I would start posting videos. I like to edit and everything and, and record and go through that whole process. And I didn't really know where the channel would take me. So um, I'm finding there are some sort of videos that people respond to more than other videos. So um, in, like the vlog videos when I've been traveling, I mean my true diehard subscribers enjoy seeing that side of my life, but I don't think that's like attracting people to the channel. So I'm kind of rethinking whether or not to do those. I probably will do them because I like editing and bringing you guys along with me on a trip, but what else? Oh, I like my hair. <laughs> I, I watched Terry Gigi's channel and um, she did this hairdo um, that I think she watched Rachel Ray or something and I thought, oh, messy bun, I think I can do that. And as little and thin as my hair is, I don't know, I think it um, kind of looks cute. But then again, at the same time, my ends are always lighter than my roots and I don't dye my hair. It's like when I walk out into the sunshine, my hair will turn blonde. <laughs> like it. My hairdresser's like, did you ombre your hair? I'm like, no, that's like summer growth. It turns blonde. So um, my bun looks several shades lighter than the rest. So I'm wondering if you think it's like fake hair up there or extensions, but nope, it's real hair. Anyway, I think it's cute and it's a great little updo for, um, you know, a night out or something glamorous or summertime. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a whirl and I like it. For those of you asking about my father-in-law, he is going home tomorrow. Yay! Thumbs up. We are so proud of him. Um, we call him, the family calls him Grampy. And um, he, he just pulled through. Amazing. He's 82 years old and 
He's got a long road ahead of him, but we're so very proud that he's on the mend. So thank you all for your prayers and your comments. When I mentioned that he'd had a heart attack, ugh, it just, it stopped the world. So um, thank you again for all your support. I have some upcoming videos that I think you guys are going to love. I've been working really, really hard at trying to get myself organized in many different ways. Now, I told you that I'm a copycat because I don't have these ingenious um, ideas that some people on YouTube that have channels do that I follow. So um, I'm going to show you in an upcoming video several binders that I've made inspired by someone else on YouTube which I know some of you already subscribe to and then I have a huge project but I, I think I'm going to have to break it down into a series and this actually is my own idea. I am going to order sort and order and organize my print photos as well as all the photos and videos on my computer. So there'll be a series for the printed ones and there'll be a series for the digital ones and I hope you'll follow me along. I don't know how long this project is going to take because I will probably be pushing out new videos in the series as I progress through the steps myself and I don't know how long it's going to take me. But I did start it last year as far as the concept came to me and then I started implementing. So I'm going to take you through what I've already done and hopefully those will come out pretty regularly this year. And I would guess by December we're going to be done for the most part. So I hope you'll join me for that. I'm really excited about it. There's nothing more that I like more right now than working with videos and photos and just getting it all to where people can look at them is uh, meaningful to me. So that's my next project. In addition to that, I told you that I started kind of working on sorting out my memorabilia as well because I'm such a true archivist, I hate to throw things away. Not that I'm a hoarder, but um, I do like to save things for sentimental reasons. And um, I told you about my Smashbook that I just got. I haven't really worked on it a lot, but I have bought a lot of things. There was a huge sale at Michael's and I feel like I need more um, ephemera than I have, more sort of embellishments and papers that I can do things to to help my pages look a little prettier rather than just smashing all my stuff in it with no cohesive color or theme type of thing. So I'm going to show you a video on my new acquisitions when it comes to my Smashbook stuff. Also, I've been presenting at our Genealogy Society's Beginners course I'm the president and I featured last Saturday a brand new presentation called uh, Getting Organized with Your Genealogy or what did I call it? Organizing Your Genealogy. So it went over really well and I, pre I presented it that same week to a smaller group in the same area and it went over really well. So um, doing that every Saturday which is kind of keeping me busy, that's when I used to do my filming. But um, I just love getting new people engrossed in this hobby. It's an addiction. It's a disease. It's like being a detective, a Sherlock Holmes, if you will. And if you like that kind of thing, I highly suggest that you find your local society or historical society or something and learn how you can get started. There's webinars online. Um, I had a couple subscribers write to me and say, I've been doing genealogy for 30 years. And like, you know, the angels sang and I was like, oh, we got to talk. So I'm um, really looking forward to that as well. I found out last week that between Christmas and New Year's, our neighbors had to put their dog to sleep. Then I found out that my daughter's step-grandmother passed away. <sighs> then I heard that my stepchildren's great uncle passed away. It seems like more people that I'm aware of are passing away. Yeah, it's just kind of odd that all of a sudden I know so many people that are sick or passing away. But crazy. 
Anyway, I hope you're going to continue to follow me. I'm so excited about this new series. I've already begun the outline and mapping it all out and figure out what I want to show you and record. And I'm also thrilled that I'm going to get my photographs in order. I mean, like, it's about time. So please continue to watch. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in another video soon. Bye.